Welcome back. Highway to okay. the Okay. So are you trying to hurt their ears? Silly zone. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Molly didn't warn me when she got a rosé that one rosé is all it takes for her to get to the quote silly zone. I can only achieve silly zone enlightenment through two means. <laughs> rosé or uh, good, some good, an Irish cream. Okay. Um, anyway, so we left off. <laughs> Molly. I'm sorry, no. Molly. No, listen to me. We left off last episode. I like, so, I like the Sonic Riders series <laughs> because Molly just gets progressively more hammered throughout the not, whole thing. I'm not even No, you're, you're like you're like wine drunk mom I'm right not now. wine drunk. And our mom doesn't get wine drunk? I'm just like, I'm a drunk mother. Oh. Not our mom. Okay, that's fair. So, I, I let's switch the topics before we judge me. Um, <laughs> I'm only, do you know the fucked up thing? Hold, feel how full this can still is. <laughs> Do you have a deficiency? <laughs> yeah, I do. Have guys, a there's been like a sip <laughs> taken from this. And you guys can't see her. She is kneeling on her chair, swaying left and right. Stop, I'm giggling. not swaying left and right. You're swaying left and also, right. Also, I always sit like this. I'm gay and autistic. This is just how we sit. Oh, do not pull the gay and autistic <laughs> card. I can't That's match you sit. there. we sit. We sit on our knees. That's how gay autistic people sit. And Cooper, what would you know? Only gay autistic people or L from Death Note get it. But this is how we say it. L from Death You're telling me L wasn't autistic. And gay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so only gay autistic people and this gay autistic character. Okay. I want to move on. Yeah, last, I bet you want to move on. The last episode we left off talking about silly holidays. Uh huh. And St. Patrick's Day is a holiday that my straight but me brunch group celebrates. You call it straight but me. The straight but me brunch group. Well, they don't know I call it that. <laughs> but they just call it their friends. <laughs> you call it. You call it your normies. It's, it's because it's become a meme getting like brunch with your gay friends, but for me, it's with my straight friends, and so. On St. Patrick's Day, we needed to watch a movie. We couldn't watch Groundhog Day, because that's Groundhog Day. That's not St. Patrick's Day themed. Um, and so we were like, oh, like we, we would tax day brunch too. You know, it was brunch for all these that's days. That's the whitest thing. Yeah, and so, um, excuse me, I said straight but me friend group. Not everyone's white friend group. No. There's not white people in our You're brunch like, group, thank you. All right, guys, tax day. <laughs> Anyway. All right, gotta go to the villa and have our brunch. Oh, we have it in my friend's trendy apartment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was so brick, far off. With a brick wall. Yeah, I was so far so, off. So anyway, last St. Patrick's Day 2019, they were like, what are we going to watch? And I was like, do you all remember The Luck of the Irish, the Disney Channel original movie? I said it as a joke. Hell yeah. Because in my memory, it's the worst movie ever conceived it's, of. It's actually not bad. Cooper, it's so bad. Oh no. <laughs> so they were oh, like, no. they're like, oh, we've got to watch that. And I was like, well, thank God they won't be able to find it anywhere. Wrong! It's on YouTube. Well, they had a jailbroken fire stick or whatever, however you call those. It's and, a th And so they so they pull immediately, they have it. And they pulled up. And oh I need God. to walk you all through. I just can I walk you through this movie? You know what? Go ahead. Okay. Walk me through so the luck of the Irish. We're opening up. It's like 2001, probably. It was straight. It was straight to Disney Channel. Yes, we're in Col, and there were good ones of those, but this one, no. So like we're Camp we're in Colorado, and this kid's class is getting ready for Heritage Day, uh -oh. and everyone's getting studying their heritage. So he's white. He's got a black best friend, and a native best friend. Let me guess. He's non-white best friends are like, you need to care about yes, your heritage. Yes, they're like, please, why don't you care about your heritage? And he's like, defense, he's like defensive about it. He's like, just leave me alone. It like runs off. <laughs> so he goes home and the shots in this movie are so weird. Whenever he talks to his parents, they don't show him in the shot Whoa. often. <laughs> they just show his parents. So you're like him or something. And you're like, from his point of view. And they're like, why is your heritage important? He's like, I just, I think it's weird. I'm the only one of my friends who doesn't know where we come from. 
and he's his dad's like, I already told you, I'm from Cleveland. And he's like, where are we from before that? And they're like, it's not important. What and he walks fuck? out, and they both give each other like a worried, knowing glance. And he can't so, know we're leprechauns. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So it's getting weirder and weirder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say this movie is extremely disrespectful. Okay. To to all cultures, but especially to the Irish. Okay. So but that's one of the few cultures I feel comfortable mocking like, on you, a comedic exactly. Format. And you know, like normally, like being of Irish descent, and we're talking like four generations back. Yeah. So we've been here a while on our mom's side. Not very long on our dads, but on our moms we have, and so, and that's our Irish side. Normally, it's fun to laugh at Americans' interpretations of our own Irish heritage. I would never, living in Ireland with my friends, when I was there and when I go back, I will never show them this movie. <laughs> it is not funny. It is so, oh, it's man. just, okay, so anyway, so all these weird things start happening to him. By the way, he, oh, I forgot to mention, he wears a secret spooky amulet his mother gave him every day. Moving on. <laughs> so This is the Irish amulet. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how they talk, too. And so, sweet, strange things start happening to him, Cooper. Okay. He's at a Heritage Day festival, and there are a bunch of Irish dancers, and a jig starts playing, and against his control or whim, or will, he starts doing a jig, and he doesn't know what's happening to him. Okay. Now, they don't teach this actor a single step to any known jig. Nice. And it would have been so easy. Just get in the, just get a Kaylee in there. Just toss in the fucking sweets in May. Give him something up. So he's just, like, hopping up and down, and he's like, Whoa, what's happening to me? Nothing. Yeah, and he runs. I'm being possessed by the music! Yeah, exactly. So his friends are like, dude, that's so weird. And so he runs into this mysterious dude and hold on the actor is relevant and i need to remember his name he looks like robbie rotten but he's not robbie rotten yeah i would assume yeah okay luck of the irish cast regretfully i'm looking that up let's see load faster okay ah uh, fuck um shape yeah timothy amundsen i can never pronounce his name is in it as shame seamus mctierin <laughs> no. Yeah. No. He plays. Yeah. He's. I mean, he's in Xena. He's in King Richard. He's in Gallivant, and he's Kane in Supernatural. What? But in this, in this. What? He's Seamus. So he's the bad guy. I. I stopped watching right around the season of Supernatural where all that Kane stuff happened. Yeah. So. But I still. Yeah. I. I remember. Whoa. So he runs into our main character. And he steals his amulet. I'm sorry that you want this amulet, bud. So, yeah. But I'm going to be so, taking it for myself and hot footing out of here. Yeah. Okay, that's literally how they fucking talk. <laughs> so he gets back home and his mother has now shrunken. She's very small. Because they're all leprechauns. And it turns out the amulet was what let her family stay disguised as humans. Oh my god! Yeah. It gets worse. Now he has to answer to his grandfather who is a potato chip tycoon, okay? And every day his mother's, well, his mother doesn't shrink down right away, I forgot actually, she just starts becoming more quote unquote Irish every day. I'm Hannigan and this O'Donovan. Is where, this is where it gets into dirty waters. Oh, it so hasn't she, already? So before she shrinks down into a leprechaun, she starts acting weird every day. And one day just he, day drinking. he comes home, yeah, it's like that. And she's like starting a peat fire in their fireplace. And because Irish she gives just can't him control themselves? She gives him this slop of, like, fish in a bucket. And is like, that's your lunch for school, honey. And my friends and I are all, like, we did not buy enough mimosa ingredients for this. So we're <laughs> looking for anything else in the fridge. We're like, there has to be something to get us through this movie. So anyway, so there's a lot of bad stuff happening. She finally shrinks down. And her dad and her mom are like, Okay, we're gonna tell you the truth. Your mom's a leprechaun, so you're a leprechaun too, because he starts shrinking. Also, his ears are getting pointier. Also, also. his hair turns red. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's, it's so bad. It's, oh, it's so then. Why am I transforming into a little man, mother? So then at this point, you're, you're, you're like, okay, this is too much. <laughs> but then 
He's like, Mom, why didn't you just tell me I'm a leprechaun? And she's like, because when my family first came here in the 1850s, okay. there were signs that said Irish need not apply. Ah! And I wanted to protect you from discrimination ah! for being Irish. And he is now saying what we are all thinking. Mom, that hasn't happened for like 80 years. So you're really like, Are leprechauns like immortal? Yeah. Yeah. They never touch on that, by the way. The implication is he is immortal. It is never touched on. Good. She's immortal. He's immortal. Okay. We're not going to talk about it. The one His... thing I remember from that movie is that he's a super lucky guy. Like he Not anymore. He daydreams all day and then like his test, it was time. So he scribbled in a bunch of bubbles and mm -hmm. his teacher was like, "Man, you can't keep doing that." He... And then he got all of them yeah. right. And he like always gets slam dunks. He's the best basketball player, but when the amulet like, gets stolen, their family loses their luck. Well, that's too. because Irish people are too small and stubby to play basketball. Yeah. Molly. So um, anyway, well, I mean, we are. <laughs> we definitely have some genetics going on. Anyway, so it all comes to a head when he challenges Seamus to a competition to win their amulet back. And Seamus is like, okay, and like snaps his fingers. And they are like in like second century so Ireland. And it's, it's like- it, 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 it goes with the high school musical trend where for some reason this is settled on the basketball yes. court. So they go to like second century Ireland. There's like pyres burning and it's like- dun, ba, dun, dun, So dun, 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 the <laughs> ancient <laughs> Irish sport of basketball. Not yet. So they play allegedly ancient Irish sports and he's terrible at all of them. So he's finally like, double or nothing. And Seamus is like, okay and he's like i get to choose the game and he's like okay and he says basketball and he's like well why would i pick your turf he's like well i'll make it interesting um who whoever loses gets to marry my mom to... <laughs> what isn't that what irish people do i don't fucking know what i don't know okay be careful no <laughs> are, you, are you sure i'm sure Look it up. You can Google it. It's a popular tradition there. No. What would you know about Ireland? I think you should take my word for it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Having lived there? Uh, I haven't actually. Yeah. What are you watching? I'm not watching anything. What was that? It was a guy talking. Why um, are you on your phone? I'm sorry. You huh? were huh? roasting you, me. You should, you should be. I just, anyway, look at this so sick trick. if you don't know, the I, I just wanted to look up the spelling. So the um, Irish name for Ireland, like in Irish, it's spelled E with the with the accent over it, I R E, okay? So. Like the Lake Erie. Wait, is, is that about so to he come tells, in? Yes! <laughs> so he tells Seamus, whoever loses is forever banished to the land of my father's. Eerie. And Seamus corrects him and is like, oh, he thinks he just can't pronounce Ireland. So like, like, so in Irish, so he's like, deal. So he's saying basically whoever's banished, Seamus thinks he means will be banished to Ireland forever. So he wins at the basketball game through the friendship and everything. And also his friends are amped that he started to embrace his heritage and culture. <laughs> okay. And, and so then, and no, there are, there's a long history of Irish oppression, but in the United States, there's an entire book called How the Irish Became White, and it's about how Irish immigrants uh, stepped on top of black people to be like, hey, at least we're not them. Let's now be as respected as other white Americans. So yeah. yeah, so anyway, but this movie's going on, the Irish people are heavily oppressed in America, is of like course. the premise of this movie. So, um, so, um, he wins the basketball game, and then Seamus is like, ha ha, you just made me, you think you're gonna stop me? I'm just being banished to my land, to my home, and I'm gonna gain power. And he's like, I didn't say the land of your fathers, I said the land of my father, Erie, the shores of Erie is what he said, the shores of Erie. And he's like, what? And he's like, Cleveland, Ohio. And Seamus is like, no! And like gets- Honestly, that's Ooh. not an overreaction. No. <laughs> Like, that was the only part that made the movie worth watching. So Seamus gets banished for eternity. To Cleveland, to Cleveland Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> and that is how the movie ends. Oh, no, wait, Then everybody gets in traditional regalia for all their different cultures and gets up on stage at the school assembly and sings, this land is your land, this land is my land. 
And that is how that movie ends. That is the luck of the Irish. I posted, I live blogged it. I got a message from an Irish girl telling me to shut the fuck up. And I said, although I didn't write this movie, that's fair. Even talking about it's a microaggression. <laughs> and then someone else messaged me and said, hey, my dad did the soundtrack for that movie. Okay. And I looked it up and I was like, sure enough. <laughs> okay. And on that note, we're not going to spend the rest of the series talking about the luck of the Irish. <laughs> we sure are. No, tune in next time for my review of Disney Channel original movie, The 13th Year. Oh, that's a good one. That is. <laughs> it ends with, like, the, the boy's mom giving the other, the, like, second main character, like, mouth to mouth. What? Because he was, like, drowning. No, it, he becomes a mermaid. No, but, but yeah. like, the, his friend drowns. Mm. And then, like, the main character's mom, like, gives him CPR. Was and this, like were you, were you a little kid, like, oh, I wish she would give me no, CPR? No, I, I was a little kid thinking how un, uncomfortable it was, and it comes back. And the, and the kid is like, was I dreaming or was Mrs. So-and-so just kissing me? And, like, uh, everyone laughs. And it's like, oh, this was written by adults. What are we doing? It's, Here are the patrons. They've been up for a while. I'm going to... We're done. Okay. <laughs> this land is your, your land. This land, land is my land. land. From, From California. California. To the New York Islands. To the Redwood Forest. And the Gulf Stream waters. This land belongs to you and me. We don't all know the lyrics, Mom. Goodbye. Well, why don't you pull yourself up by the bootstraps and learn them? I saw this thing. It was this guy who was like checkmate liberals where he made like a pulley system. <laughs> he made like a pulley system and a steel rod and he pulled up <laughs> and lifted himself up by his bootstraps. <laughs> and he was like checkmate liberals and someone retweeted it saying, um, I truly appreciate how there's some intricate system assisting your evolution. I'm sure it's not an analogy That's for anything. Like that lady just being obnoxious put a th a fake target on her forehead and said, this is what it feels like to be a white woman. And somebody went, yeah, this is a perfect analogy because it's a fake target. You put it there yourself. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> hey, like, I, what was I she? I need your permission. Am I allowed to use uh, the K word if I'm like singing along to a song that it's in? No. Okay. That's why it's actually called Stacy's mom. It was originally Karen's mom, but it was not full of him. Well, st no, they say Stacy's mom because Stacy's mom is Karen. Yeah. But he has to say Stacy's mom. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. whoa. Yeah. Okay. This is, we've been on the screen for three minutes. Goodbye. Wait, were we still being heard? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>